Hi guys, today I'm going to do something crazy. So, about two weeks ago I heard a gossip about an abandoned cruise ship, a 7 deck 70 bedroom ship that's decaying away somewhere in Thailand. And after I did some research, I found out that this place is haunted. Locals call it the ghost ship, or don't talk about it at all, because people have killed themselves by jumping off the top. This ship used to be a real working cruise line, which eventually got repurposed as a luxury hotel. There are many theories about why the resort closed down. Among one of the wildest ones involves a Russian tourist who died inside of the ship and no one knows how. So I decided to take it on my own and bring you guys with me to explore this haunted ship. And here it is. The abandoned ship. So I arrived in the area where is the abandoned boat and apparently this whole resort around it is abandoned as well. Yeah, there are yeah. other explorers as well. I met some other explorers here. It's funny actually, it's so open and yeah. you, you can just walk in and it's, it's all abandoned. You can see it because the roof is broken now. Private area distance 10 meter. But we don't know which is private area, so I guess we can just enter, right? Yeah. But I've seen people on YouTube enter like inside a windows and stuff so yeah as you can see it's filled with barbed wire in front of the windows so that people cannot enter but I will definitely enter okay so I found a window that slides open hell yeah <laughs> that's the way in made a little setup bloop, bloop. and we're in there are the other explorers that I met That's where I'm looking for. <laughs> Whoa. This room looks so intact still. Wow. <laughs> I could sleep here actually tonight. Ah, uh, maybe that's not such a... Good idea, I would be pretty scared, I think. But this is a good, good place for homeless people. The storage rooms. <clears throat> Hello. And the keys are still here. Oh, maybe I can try them on the other doors. Yeah. So it looks like the higher I go up, the less abandoned it looks. I'm at the highest floor right now, and it looks brand new.
Wow, this room. <laughs> Shit. It looks so intact. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. That's what I thought. <laughs> Okay, I've made it to the top of the ship, or this is the top. <laughs> I want to go to the roof, but I need to be careful because someone already was screaming at me when I entered the building. Wow, this was probably the dining hall. That's insane. Nice, it goes even higher up here. It's perfect. Then I'm not exposed. Yeah, I don't want to get too close because there are people around the ship. But this is the top. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 pause there for a second. Yeah, I don't want to get too close because there are people yeah, around the ship. I probably should have listened to myself because what happens next is crazy. Hello? Okay, I come. No! I come, I come! No, no! I come, I come, I come! No! Go! <laughs> go, go! Fuck, right now I'm hiding in the bush. Um, I'll explain you what happened. So the guys saw me in the ship. I was making one last video and then he saw me. And then he wanted to grab my camera. And just when I said like, okay, I come, I come. I started running and I started running down the hallway, jumping down the stairs and I hear them sprinting behind me. So I was like, fuck, fuck, I need to be quick, quick, quick. I jumped like three stories down and then I hid quickly in the other room behind the door. Um, yeah, after I took out my SD card, that's why I have no footage from the rest. Um, 
and I was hiding behind this door. I heard literally another guy coming up, standing right next to the room where I was in and I'm checking a lot of places. Then when I heard him go up, I tiptoed my way down to the lowest floor where I went to another room where I hid in and when I thought it was safe, I went to the window where I entered from and I looked if there was no one. I opened the window real quick and I jumped out and then I quickly I saw another guy standing outside and he was screaming at me and I started to run, run, run around the ship towards my scooter and they were screaming uh, towards me from the ship as well, from above and I quickly opened my scooter and I drove so fast and this guy was chasing me with the scooter, he also had a scooter and yeah, I drove incredibly fast and now I'm hiding behind a bush <sighs> Fuck The coast became clear and with the adrenaline rushing through my veins, I decided to race my way out of there to explore some of the mind-blowing nature of the island. Right now I'm in a mangrove forest, so it's low tide right now, it's dry at the roots, but when it's high tide, this is filled with a layer of ocean water. So I've made it to the fisherman's village. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Like all the houses are in the water so they can like fish from the water and enter their boat straight from their house. It must be crazy life here. It was getting late already and I needed to find a place to put my tent for the night. Some locals recommended me a secluded beach, they called it a hidden paradise. So I looked on my map, jumped on my scooter and headed towards this secret beach. So I really like this place actually, I talked to the owner of this bar and he said that I'm allowed to camp on the beach even though it's property of the national park but that I'm just not allowed to make a fire but yeah that's okay they have pretty cheap food here and it's so beautiful like the beach is so blue 